Sarah and Nadine, mm. fantastic to meet you. How are you? Good. Good. How are you? <laughs> Back with Girls Aloud after 10 years. Yes. It's quite exciting, long. isn't it? I know. Does it feel like 10 years? Because obviously you had a bit of a break yeah. you know, for, for a couple of years, three years, was it? Three years. It yeah. was only supposed to be one year, but then I suppose, you know, we got a bit complacent and we just got busy with our, our own stuff. And, and then I think one of, well, a few of us just sort of went, well, if we're going to do it, the 10th anniversary would be the time to do it. Yeah. So it just felt right. Yes, it did indeed. Quite refreshing as well to go off and do your own thing for a bit. Totally. Yeah, Quite yeah you know. Soul building, I suppose. Yeah. Well, I suppose Without getting too deep. Seven years of, of kind of touring, album tour, album, it can get a little bit monotonous, you know, it's, it's like Groundhog Year and it was nice to just shake it up a little bit, keep it interesting and then when you come back it feels fresh again, which yeah. is nice. Yeah, and we started so young too, we didn't know anything outside of it. Mm. So it was a uh, school... Girls allowed. Yeah, for, um, some. for some, yeah, for me and Nicola. Yeah. I know for, you know, for a lot, so it was all yeah. like kind of gathering ourselves. We had a little bit of time to work out what we were onto for a while. Is ourselves. it more fun this time around? I know you got the tour coming We've up. We've already just so, started. Yeah, yeah, I, know. I was going to say, you've you um, still got that to come, but yeah, are you getting on better? Because I think you've, you've already, oh, oh, you know, we've already got on up. before. Yeah. yeah, we've all grown yeah. up. Yeah, everybody has. We've been very fortunate. Um, yeah. So I think it's just really good that everybody's in a good mm. frame of mind to come back and yeah. do all the stuff again. I think a bit of life experience is what we needed. And a lot has happened in 10 years. <laughs> Blimey. You're telling me. <laughs> <laughs> Three quarters <laughs> of it you know nothing about. <laughs> <laughs> Does it feel weird when you look back at the really... Early days when you look back at when you started on Pop Stars Rivals. Oh my God, cringe. Is it, is it cringe? <laughs> a little bit. Yeah. A little bit, but then, you know. But everything is, I suppose, when you look back at just, younger pictures and stuff and videos. I think it's just, you know, like outfits and things like that, yeah. hair and. So, yeah, what, 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 what are the outfits that, that were no nos? I think a lot of the outfits on, on the actual show <laughs> for me, but um, then there was the Beam Me Down <laughs> Scotty ones on uh, No Good Advice. <laughs> second video. Yeah, second video. Um, um, anything that went with our general promo. Oh, we just got so no sick of wearing advice. the same things, though, didn't we? We had to wear them certain things for different, um, like TVs or videos. And I remember we did the the mm. Sound of the Underground video, and do you remember we just always wore that same outfit again and again <laughs> yeah. and again and again every yeah. time we performed it. And by the end, my suede skirt must have stretched <laughs> by about three sizes. And I was like, please, can we not just wear something else? <laughs> <laughs> do you feel cringe about the music as well? Because obviously, no. it's much love stuff, isn't it? I mean, yeah, yeah we've had it's some brilliant good stuff. pop, pop, British. Pop royalty. Pop at its best. Yeah. 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 And it's st- it sticks around, you know, like um mm-hmm. Like Sound of the Underground, you can still listen to that now. And the surf guitar, it still works now the yeah. same way it worked back then. It's it's amazing. It's edgy, <laughs> isn't it? Edgy pop. Yeah, yeah, definitely. So the hits tour, is it just gonna be singles? Can you tell us a bit about this? Well, it- I'm guessing if it's the hits, <laughs> it must be. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, we're going to, uh, because it's still, we still have an end till the uh, end of February before it actually begins. So we have all of this time to work out what on earth mm. are we going to do? There's so many options. We've yeah. started off flying in before. We've arrived from the roof. <laughs> Um, and then there's a lot of songs like you know a song that just came under my head Sarah was a swing in London town I love that and swing graffiti in Lon- and, and graffiti yeah no these are songs that weren't singles yeah. and real life I still love real life because baby I- this is real life we had a great harmony going on there but, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah not that. just then not just not then but, just then, then, but yeah. when we sang really, it a really. lot well the reason I asked you if, if it's just going to be hits obviously it will be because it's the hits tour yeah a lot of people have asked me about Memory of You which of course was the B-side much love B-side oh uh, Oh, a lot of people are asking if you're going to play that. That um, that is on our is deluxe one? version, a deluxe d- version. And Nicola of the... did a version, did she as well? Oh, I loved that. I loved yours and Nicola's one actually. These yeah. are all the B sides that you guys wrote, weren't they? Yeah, yeah. yeah. We um, done some stuff. I'm not going to go and start singing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And you done. Da, 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 da. Um, and what was the one? I remember them, but I can't can't remember how to sing. My one was, I was standing in the rain. Yes, <laughs> yours is so good. But did you not have a, a line about mascara? Oh, no Black more mascara drama. racing. That was it, no more drama. Smear mascara on my pillow. Yeah. <laughs> what are you like great? on tour? Are you demanding on tour? 
That is fantastic. As long as I get my red M&Ms, I'm fine. <laughs> yeah, and as long as I have uh, regular exotic animals to debut, I'm fine yeah. too. Puppies as well. We like lots of puppies and kittens and furry animals to play with. While That's kind of nothing really, is it? Therapy. That's not really a big request. <laughs> That's a huge request. Yeah. I mean, let's and be silk honest. And white sheets everywhere. Yes. And, and the candles. Candles. And... Joe Malone candles. Are we allowed to brand? Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> now, guys are allowed a, a, a big favourites with the gay uh, with the gays, not just the, the guys, gays. but the girls as well. The gays, <laughs> the, gays the gays, love girls, lad. Um, the gays, the guys, the, the, the gays girls. love good pop, <laughs> and that's Careful. what it is. Um, feisty females that you are as well. I think that's probably what it is. Who's the feistiest out of mm. all of you? Or have you have you got your own feistiness? I think it all in different sort of ways. swings and roundabouts. <laughs> it does. Everybody has their own feisty versions. Uh, there's none of us mm. as as any wallflowers. No. <laughs> Let's be honest. We all have it. a moment. Who's the biggest diva then out of all of you? Mm. Are you allowed to say? We can't say. Probably because not. she's not let's, in the room. Let's be realistic. <laughs> um, do, you, do you think there's a diva? Give me, put your hand to the side. Who do you think it is? Uh... <laughs> I'll pass this on. No, we don't know. Yeah, we don't know. <laughs> We're both like. <laughs> <laughs> no, I saw a no. I think all of us at one yeah, point. All of yeah, all of us. Yeah, definitely. We There's nobody. <laughs> yeah. uh, sometimes it can all kick off. Yeah, and people when have one their... starts, we all start. Yeah, <laughs> it's infectious. And then you, then somebody might need to back the other one up. So you're like, no, she's right because of this, and, and then it, it all know. starts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You don't want to be on the other, the wrong side of girls allowed. I, I think that many men and women have failed and tried, <laughs> tried and failed. Now you've all done your own thing. Obviously, since Girls Aloud took a bit of a break, mm-hmm. um, was that character building for you? How, how do you both <sighs> see that experience? Absolutely. And would you go back to do it again? Because it um, it was I opened a record label. Yeah. Um, I wrote and produced an album, and I done a distribution deal with a company that I have huge respect for. And in the process of doing that, I almost killed myself. I have never worked harder in my entire life. You know now why major labels have like hundreds of people working for them because they need them to work there. Yeah. So I just, mm-hmm. I want, you know, I'd opened a restaurant and um, and things like that. So I was kind of in a more business mm. frame of mind rather than, oh, I'm a singer. You know, it was more, yeah, it was, it was more business and, and strategic. So I loved the fact that I was able to do that and try completely something mm. completely different. It's a learning curve as well, isn't it? Yeah, and then I had always big. said to the girls, I was like, so when we take our break, you'll find me on the beach. <laughs> and yeah. that's where that's where then I went straight after yeah, that. I was yeah. on the beach. I remember at one point you wanted to open a Starbucks. <laughs> I did. I was going to invest in a Starbucks. Hello. <laughs> and it would have been very... I tried been to, cheaper. But I tried to open the... Um, I tried to do the franchise, but it was already for... You know, yeah. like, there's got to be within a certain amount of miles and stuff. But yeah, yeah I opened a restaurant, bar restaurant in mm. um, in California. And we do various... Um, we do lots of different coffees. Mm, yes, Irish we coffees? Do. We do some <laughs> Irish coffees there. <laughs> We have a lot the of Gaelics. different flavours. Yeah. <laughs> a good Gaelic coffee. Oh, yes. Yeah, yeah <laughs> definitely. So Nadine was quite the businesswoman. Yes, I went crazy. Yes. Yeah, I've done I've done quite a few things business-wise since, since the break. Mm. So have you got the business head in Girls Aloud? I think everybody has it for their own things. I think yeah. I have exposed myself. I moved to... <laughs> Excuse me? I've exposed myself. <laughs> <laughs> I've exposed... Not right now. Luckily, this is radio. Um, uh-huh. to a lot of different things like my family moved to, um, to America six years ago and I moved to London from Ireland when I was 16 so it's one of those kind of I've always been interested in doing kind of outside the norm stuff and in and, and these two years mm. three years was no different Kimberly's been doing Strictly Kimberly, yeah. yes, yeah. she has and we loved the little peck that Cheryl gave her backstage as well <laughs> after she completed the show and of course that sent the pulses racing of every girl that listens to us Uh across gay uk and i think yeah uh if you because obviously you i think a lot of gay guys have this kind of girl crush on you independently in girls Uh if you had a girl crush who would it be Ooh. Girl crush, girl crush. You see, I'm, I have such high standards when it comes <laughs> to girls. My standards, and I either like a girl that looks like a boy. I like really? a boyish looking Tom girl. Boyish. Tom boyish, girl. tomboyish, yeah. you know, kind of androgynous, like 
short cropped hair or pink. Not so much pink. Pink's not androgynous enough. She is. She's good, yeah. but she's like she's not quite boyish enough for me. <laughs> and then I also like like really pretty like Victoria's Secrets kind of girls. So yeah. if I had a girl crush, it would be Victoria's Secrets girl. Probably one of those girls. What I think I'd saying? go for Rihanna. She looks uh, like a bit of a minx. Yeah, I, I reckon. Yeah, I was just going to say that. We go together. She's, oh, a, oh, <laughs> she's yeah. another gay guy crush. I think Rihanna <laughs> definitely. Um, Rita Ora wanted a collaboration with Michelle Cole. Is this something that you've been approached about? From artists that want to collaborate with you independently, or possibly. I mean, I've been writing and recording some bits and bobs. I've been sort of playing around with different sounds, and there's there's a few um, artists. I wouldn't say like female artists, but kind of. I I wouldn't go into names, but like producers, sort of rapper kind of people that I that I know through other people that have possibly be working with, but I don't know yet what's happening. Is this something? And co-writing with them as well, so. So something after Girls Aloud? Because a lot of people are asking yeah. if it's going to be a... You can never say Well, we don't say after totally. and that's it, but yeah. well, I'm hoping together. to have some good stuff ready by the end of the tour, yeah. Fingers in pies. Yeah, definitely, Always. definitely. I've, yeah. I've done a bit of acting, I've done a bit of presenting, done modelling. What I really want to do is my first love, which is music, but I'm taking my time. It has to be right. Mm-hmm. Excellent. Good yeah. move. Mm-hmm. Now, radio presenters like me, we always like to get a bit of gossip that other people haven't had. Do you have any gossip for us? Let's let's, let's oh, double the share. Are turning. You share a little with us and we'll share a little with you. <laughs> All right, well, I've just shaved my beard off in November. Why? Which I, I, well, I You're going to get chilly now. I know. Well, a lot of people don't know this, so that's my secret out. That's oh. your secret. That's my secret out after 10 years. A lot of people tell me not to do it, but. Oh. So you've had a beard for 10 years? I have had oh. a beard for 10 years. It's, it's a really big loss. I feel quite... Naked? Quite naked. Chin naked. Very chin, chin naked. <laughs> <laughs> so what's your secret? My that secret. Was, that was very clever, actually. <laughs> it was kind of naughty, though. <laughs> <laughs> Turning the tables like that. Um, okay, <laughs> any secrets? Secrets, secrets, secrets that are radio hmm. Were they? I swore this morning on Radio 1. I mean, would you... I co- swore on the conference, it's fine. Yeah. <laughs> So that's not really a secret when it's on national no. stuff. <laughs> All right, we'll take that back. Um, damn it, I feel like such a bore now. Secret. Like, what what secrets do I have that I wouldn't get under any trouble over saying? Secrets about myself. That's really difficult. It is quite a difficult one. We could it come back really to it. We could make yeah, something up like yeah. I have a secret piercing. and Let's ha- let's have um, listeners try and guess where it is. Oh, oh, uh, <laughs> let's make it the big the big question at the end. <laughs> okay. Is that what it's going to be? The Keep secret? We'll just on. say that. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. A crafty ploy. Uh, what's the one thing that you've done as a band that you haven't done already that you'd love to do? Oh my goodness! Maybe a film or something oh, like that. That'd be great. Yeah. Like, yeah. Um, Although maybe we done maybe we done a Centronians. Yeah. I yeah. can imagine it would be like that. As like well. the spice the world thing yeah. would have been quite cool. Something would have been similar. great. It would have been so mm. great. So if you were um, one of the spice, spice girls, girls who got would you there be? before us, I know. No. Didn't they? Oh, I know. I would be Mel B. You'd be Mel B. She's absolutely hilarious. Oh, I couldn't tell you. Probably scary. She so, has, that's, that's scary. That's Mel B. Oh, right. <laughs> <laughs> Me oh, and Sarah right. would both be Mel B. Maybe Mel, a cross between Mel B and Mel, Mel C then, because she's a bit more sporty and tattooed. And Did you love the Spice Girls? Yeah, I did actually. I remember when one of you came out, I was 14, I was at my friend's house and we were dancing up the stairs to our room to it and stuff. So, <laughs> yeah, it was good. It was really good. New single, which is very girl power, yes. something new, yes. which we love. Mm-hmm. Tell us a bit about this, because it's, mm-hmm. it's quite feisty, isn't it? The video is very oh, feisty. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, it's one of those that's chanting first of all, go girls, go, 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 go. Yeah. So that'll be like good fun for us today. It's a good comeback single as well. Do you think? Yeah, yeah it's absolutely. Nice. I'm glad Strong. you think it's, so. Yeah. Glad you think so. Yeah, it's it's definitely, it's it's Girls Aloud with a little soul chorus and some rapping in there. And Sarah asking people, do they walk on the wild side? Well, you know, some of us take a walk on the wild side once in a while. Exactly, yeah. <laughs> so why is that wild side? <laughs> Where have you walked? <laughs> well, a long and winding road. <laughs> <laughs> we, we got time. <laughs> uh, so, obviously, Cheryl, you've all independently done very successful things. Yeah. Cheryl has had the X Factor, of course, which mm-hmm. obviously it was brilliant for her. Mm-hmm. And there was a lot of trouble that she went through as well does it feel kind of strange being back 
with Cheryl as she is now compared to how she was before in the band? Or does it feel like the Cheryl of old? It just feels like we're the same same group, really. I think when yeah. we're separate, that's that's us as individuals. It's it's a bit different. We get, I suppose, we give off different vibes to different people. But when we're all as a group, we all sort of just click back into how we used to be. It's, yeah. Yeah. Do you talk about a lot of the personal stuff though, in the band, or is it just work? No, oh, we do. We do talk. We about do. Things, we get yeah. deep on. I think all of us have like those deep natures that it, you yeah. know, it'll start off with something simple, and the next minute you'll be like delving into something that might draw tears. Yeah. It's just like, <laughs> oh. So, but yeah, it's just that that closeness that you have, and mm. it's it's um, it's good yeah. to have the support of everybody. Yeah, because we know what we've all sort of been through between us all. You know, mm. since ten years, so. We've all been sort of there for each other. Through and the some chat, of you have written yeah. books as well. Is it all of the you? you we all did books? an autobiography. Oh. Yeah. Oh yeah, we yeah. done it as a band. I was yeah. about to say. Uh, not no. solo for me. Did you read not the yet. other girls' books though, and maybe learn not something yet. more? <laughs> not no, yet. no, no, yeah, I'm not no, a big I reader. Haven't. <laughs> no, I haven't read. I don't even think. And yeah. No, I haven't read any of the girls' autobiographies. <laughs> How many like, are there? I know. Wow. That's God. what I'm saying. I, no, Cheryl, Cheryl's Cheryl done them. one, but none of the rest of them have. No, but everyone's bringing them out at the moment, and I feel like I've got more mm. of my life to live before I do one of them. Yeah. Yeah, yeah definitely. Because you do get certain people that are very, very young that release the book. And it's, it's like, like, hello, grow up. I know a lot's happened already, years, but... Yeah. yeah. Yeah, you need more to tell. Mm-hmm. And what about the second single, the follow-up to something new? Yeah. Have the details been leaked about this yet? Or can yes. you give us Oh they have? Yeah. Do you know the details? I don't know the details. <gasps> the I need details the details. Are. It is a song called Beautiful. <gasps> and it's a very nice ballad. It's it's completely different. Think of something new and think of something completely the opposite. And there you have beautiful. So this is coming out after Christmas, is that right? This will be out before oh. Christmas. Oh before Christmas. Yes, before Nicely Christmas. Nicely timed mm-hmm. for Christmas, I think. Yes. And obviously the first thing well, something new is is out Charity on the 18th, single, yeah. Which is yes. fantastic as well. Mm-hmm. How did you get involved in in this? As it Because it's not the first time you've touched on charity. Because charity, no. you've done a lot of work for charity. It's yeah. a huge part of our lives. It's something that, that we all feel really strongly about. Yeah. And Children in Need um, came to us yeah. um, for the second time. Um, we had done I'll Stand By You yeah. uh, before, the, which was which was for, no, that was for Children in Children Need. Children in Need. Yeah. And, and that oh. was very, very... Um, that was, I mean, thank God we were able to get it to number one for the charity. It was, yeah. it was amazing. So hopefully we can do great things for it again. That's the most important thing, really. Mm. It's so fantastic to see you both. Yeah. And I wish you all the best with the tour. I cannot wait to thank see you next you. year. When are you going to come see us? I, probably London. What do you mean, probably? Probably London. You haven't bought your ticket yet? I know. Well, I haven't bought my ticket yet. <gasps> I need to sell that. I'm probably sold do. out now. Sell it <laughs> quickly. Get them while they're hot. <laughs> <laughs> Good to meet you, Sarah Nadine. Thank you, you very too. much for chatting to us. Thank you. <laughs>